first off, kind of a funny little question though, but how could someone vote for someone that won't debate you? They're a convicted racist, racist yeah. and they clearly want to harm children. Why would anyone ever vote for that? You know, that's a great question. And, and this is why I feel like we are so far ahead. And I see these polls saying we're 11 points up. That makes a lot more sense than the ones that were close. Because I know Arizona, I've been here for 30 years almost. And I don't think Arizona wants a coward in office. We have too many big issues. I don't think they're going to vote for Katie Hobbs. If you can't stand on a debate stage and talk about the big issues that we're facing right now, and give your solutions to how we're gonna solve those issues, then you can't have the job. And I believe Arizonans feel like if you can't stand on that debate stage, you're not going to get the job. I think we're gonna win, and I think it's gonna be a big win. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, Katie Hobbs definitely isn't gonna have this kind of crowd no. at all. Even last night, she had Obama here, and I- She needed like, to bring in the big guns, right? It felt like the crowd was manufactured. This is so organic, and you can feel it. You see the moms and dads who are fed up, I always say there's a difference between a mom who's mad and a mom who's pissed off. There's a totally different level. And moms and dads are, are pissed off right now. They want somebody to help, to step in and help make sure we're protecting our children. And Katie Hobbs is just the opposite of protecting our children. I talked about it on stage. She actually sponsored a bill to introduce sex education to kindergartners. Who in their right mind is for that? Any adult who wants to talk to a five-year-old about sex shouldn't be anywhere near a school, and I can't believe she would even suggest that. And then we find out today that her husband is a child psychiatrist who specializes in transitioning children. We gotta get away from this stuff. It is so dangerous, it's so wrong for our children, and the moms and dads out there know it. You could feel their energy out there tonight, this is a late night for them because they got to get the kids up for school <laughs> yeah. tomorrow. But everything's on the line next Tuesday when we vote. Mm -hmm. Our children's future is on the line, and I think everyone knows it. Do you think that's because God's been taken out of schools, has been taken out of culture, and people have totally tried to forget God altogether? He's been taken out of everything. But there's something really special happening. I'm feeling that people are returning to God. And I talk to pastors all the time. We have a great group, Evangelicals for Lake. Mm -hmm. And I say, I bet your churches are full. They said they're filling up fast. People are re realizing there's been something missing, something missing in culture, something missing maybe in their home, maybe in their heart, and they're returning to God. I truly believe God has a hand, not only on Arizona, but on this country. And he's placed us all here at this very moment to save this country. The world is looking at what's happening in America right now. And I say this because I see it every day. We've got lots of media covering this. And it's media from Australia, the UK. We've got media from Japan, from South Korea, from Sweden, uh, Denmark, Norway. I mean, this is just a little bit of it. The international media is watching what's happening in Arizona because they realize what happens here is going to be the start of regaining our freedom and our liberties in America. President Trump isn't on the ballot, and somebody said you're the closest thing to President Trump. I take that as the, the biggest compliment. He was a great president, and I hope to God that we see him back in office. I hope he runs again, and he'll have my full support. Final question for you. If someone, for some reason, is on the fence right now in Arizona, and they're trying to decide between Katie Hobbs and you, what would you tell them to think about to get them on your side of the fence? I would just ask them, did you like having our state closed down? Did you like having our schools shut down? Did you like having to wear masks, being forced to get a shot that you really didn't want to get? Then vote for me, because I will, not, I will never force that kind of policy on you. Katie Hobbs has had her office of Secretary of State shut down since COVID started. She's only showed up for work 19 days out of six months. She looks at California and these policies that have businesses shut down, and she wants to implement them in Arizona. This is about our freedom. This is about saving our state, keeping it uniquely Arizona, and not turning us into California. I ask for your vote. I ask for your family's vote. And get out and vote on Tuesday. we got to win this, and we got to save Arizona. Thanks so much, Carrie. Thank you. Appreciate it.